Hi, this is episode 50 of Krondos. I'm your host, Jordan Hudgens. I'm a Ruby dev and the CTO of the DevCamp platform. Today, I'm gonna to review the top freelance bookkeeping options. Keeping track of finances is probably one of my least favorite parts of being a freelancer, but in order to properly manage a freelance business, you have to manage a wide range of accounting components. Profit and loss reports are one thing, and just to help you capture your overall profitability. Aging reports to make sure that you're getting paid, and if you're not, to see how long it has been you're, that you were paid from a specific client. Expense logging to ensure you capture all of your potential deductions. Uh, accounts receivable system so that you can get paid and have a number of different ways you can get paid depending on what your client prefers. I've used a number of bookkeeping solutions over the years and the following are some of the ones that I've had the best experience with. Now this is nowhere near a comprehensive list but like the other videos that I've done reviews on, I only like to discuss pieces of software that I've personally been able to use so I can give you an accurate report on how I liked it, what the strengths were, and different things like that. Starting off with FreshBooks. FreshBooks is a system that I use for all of my freelance business right now. As far as accounting software goes, it covers 100% of the requirements I have and pretty much everything I could think of that any freelancer would have. Thankfully, it also is easy to use, which means I didn't have to spend a lot of time learning how to use the software. It also has a very intuitive interface that allows me to log in, perform whatever tasks I have to, and then get back to working. In taking a look at the dashboard, on this page I can create an invoice. Here I can select a client, add additional accounting information, such as a purchase order number, date, different things like that. I can also add multiple items to the invoice, such as quantity, and it saves uh, all of the different items I've ever typed in the past before, which makes looking up really nice and easy. I also like how you can add fractional quantity units. That's really helpful because if I worked a little over 14 hours, I can enter something like 14.1 hours and it does all the calculations automatically. Also, I like how you can have multiple payment options. This portion of the system makes it easy to let clients know if I want to be paid via standard PayPal, PayPal Business, or the FreshBooks payment system. You can also be paid by check and then enter in manually if you're doing paperwork. Lastly, on this page you can add comments. You can post any additional information that you want to be sent to the client. It would take hours to go through the full system, so I'll simply gloss over some of the features that I find the most useful. One of them is invoice sending functionality. As great as it is to send invoices electronically, I still have a few clients who prefer paper-based invoices. Thankfully, not only does FreshBooks allow me to print out an invoice, but they'll actually mail it to the client for me which is a really nice feature. Next is expense tracking. Tracking expenses is a very tedious exercise, but with FreshBooks, I can use the mobile app, take a picture from my phone right after a client dinner or something like that, and then enter in the expense details and it does all the logging for me and I don't have to worry about it anymore. Next is creating estimates. In the past, I'd create an estimate in Excel or Word and then send it over to the client. If they approved it, I'd have to enter the details into an invoice. However, with FreshBooks, I can create an estimate and email that directly to the client. If they decide to move forward with the project, the estimate will automatically transfer into an invoice. On a final note, as much as I love the FreshBooks system, it does have a few weaknesses. First and foremost, it can get a little bit expensive if you get a large number of clients. Also, if you start hiring a number of employees, it can become a little bit unwieldy to manage. Personally, I'd recommend using FreshBooks for any business with under 20 employees. When you grow beyond that point, you'll want to move to a more scalable system. Next on the list is QuickBooks. If you've grown out of FreshBooks, QuickBooks could be a good option for your business. QuickBooks has been the industry leader for small businesses for as long as I can remember. Even though the company has acquired the reputation for being difficult to manage, over the past few years they've done a good job in making the system more flexible. When you list all of the potential features needed by an accounting software for a small business, QuickBooks really has it all. 
Also, due to its popularity, there's a good chance that any admins or people like that that you'd hire would already have experience using the system. With all that being said, I personally wouldn't choose to use QuickBooks for DevCamp or any of the companies I work with. The main reason is because I've seen too many times where companies grow out of QuickBooks and they found it very difficult to migrate to a new system. I also don't like the reporting engine that the software uses. For example, if you plan on running your financial data through a big data analysis reporting engine or some kind of scenario manager, QuickBooks makes it really difficult to export it in a format that's easy to use. So I've found myself having to take the reports that they generate and then have to build a number of different cleaning mechanisms to make it something that I can personally work with. The last one I'm gonna talk about is NetSuite. If your business is growing, both in clients and employees, NetSuite is a great bookkeeping option. Technically, NetSuite is probably overkill for the typical freelance business. However, if your development shop starts to turn into a full-fledged digital agency, you'll want a robust ERP system. ERP systems are different from traditional bookkeeping software. Typically, they'll offer tools such as resource planning, and, which means you can allocate your developer time over a project basis and different, more advanced features. Uh, it also has some really, really powerful tax planning tools. Once your business hits a certain size, it's important to ensure you're taking full advantage of all the potential tax deductions available. Tools like an ERP system do all of this for you. Being able to manage your employees, track turnover, and tasks such as that get important as your business grows. However, they're hard to track manually. A system like NetSuite calculates all your employee tracking metrics so that you can use them to manage your team. I hope that this has been a helpful set of freelance bookkeeping options and will help you decide on the right system for your business.